Before we get started making our own snowflake, I want to point out that Tinkercad has a lot of amazing designs that might give you some inspiration. So I've gone to the search tab and I've typed in snowflake. And you can see that there are many, many different kinds. And you can probably guess where I got my own inspiration. Mine actually shows up right here, but you'll see that I sort of borrowed some ideas from other, um, other designs, and that's just fine. So you might want to take a minute, search for Snowflake, and see if you can come up with some, some ideas to build upon what we learn here in the next few sections. Here we are back in Tinkercad. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and go to Design and Properties and give this a better name. I'll call mine two since I already have one with that same name. I'll keep mine private since I already have one of these up on the, uh, the boards, but you might want to make yours public so other people can see it. And we'll do save changes. We're going to start by dragging over the hexagonal prism. Okay, I'm going to hold down shift, make this a little bit bigger. Now, what I want to do is I want to cut out the center of the hexagonal prism. So if we look real quick at my example the part we're talking about right here is the part that I'm moving my mouse over so I want to cut out the middle of that anytime I want to do that the best way to go about it is to make a copy and use that copy to cut a hole in the original shape so I'm going to make sure the shape is selected I'm going to press control D that's going to make a copy and I'll prove it to you right there so I'm going to move it back so there's two hexagonal prisms right here. I'm going to take the second one. I'm going to hold down shift again, and I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller than the original. And to make it easier to see, I'm going to make it taller. So there it is. I'm going to get both of the shapes selected, and I'm going to align them with each other along this axis and along this axis. And actually, I think I'm going to make this inner one just a little bit smaller. Oops. So I have more of a wall. All right, now I need to select them and align them one more time. Now it's right in the middle, middle like that. So I'm going to select it, change it from color into whole at which point I can get them both selected and group them and now I've cut out the center of the, the base. If we look back at my example, you probably figured out that the sort of individual branches of the snowflake are identical and that's going to make my workload a lot, lot shorter. So what I'm going to do is create one of these. I'm going to duplicate it in such a way that it will automatically go around the shape. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lower this down to about 3 millimeters. And I'm going to drag a box onto the screen. I'm going to turn it down to 3 millimeters as well and push it so it's about 4 millimeters wide. I'm going to go ahead and, as much as I can, get it to about the middle. This doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to be aligning it in a minute uh, to make it perfect. And then I'm going to go ahead and take it and make it longer. And this needs to be probably even a little bit longer than you expect. So let's go ahead and make it 55 should, should be good. Well, let's go to 60 just to be safe. Okay. I'm going to actually, I'm going to duplicate this. And I'm going to make this one much shorter. We'll come down to about. 15. I'm going to duplicate it. Oops. Pull it off and we'll make this one a little bit longer. We'll make this one about 25. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and rotate this by 45 degrees. I'm going to rotate this by 45 degrees. If I hold down the shift key while I'm rotating, I get these nice 45 degree increments, which makes it really easy. Now I'm going to select this first one and I'm going to move it over. I'm using the left arrow key here. 
and I'm going to select it and the main branch. I'm going to go to align. I'm going to align it with the end of that. So now it's just at the edge. I'm going to bring, dismiss that line tool, and I'm going to bring this one over. Same thing, I'm going to have this selected. I'm going to shift select the branch, and I'll have this and this selected, and we're going to align them with the edge of the main branch as well. Okay, I'm halfway there. I'm going to go ahead and select my first one, and I'm going to duplicate it, Control D. I'm going to grab the mirror tool. I'm going to create a mirrored copy. And I'm just going to move it over using the left arrow key to about where I want it. I'm going to select this one, Control D. Adjust mirror. And I'm going to select that. Let's move it over with the left arrow key. Now I'm going to align these as well, so I'm going to select this one and the main branch, adjust align, align it with this side of the branch this time, take this one, shift select the main branch, align, and there we go. We're looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and select all of these by shift selecting, and we're going to group those together. Very nice. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and take this. I'm going to duplicate the whole thing with Control D. And I'm going to mirror it. Like this. And I'm going to move it over with the right arrow key so I'm only going along that axis. And I'm going to do my best to line it up right with the original one. That looks good. So now I'm going to select them both and group them together. Now, I'm going to select that and the hexagonal prism. I just do this, get them all, and we are going to align those in the middle, in the middle there. So now, they are exactly lined up, and I have that perfect symmetry that I need. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, you're going to do this over and over again to create the various branches of the snowflake but you actually don't. We're going to do some nifty duplicating uh, and make this really easy. So I'm going to go ahead and select this part of the snowflake. I'm going to press Control D to paste a new copy right on top, and I'm going to drag it, I'm sorry, we'll rotate it 45 degrees. I'm going to let go. Now here's the cool part. If I press Control D again, not only will it create a copy, it will remember that the last thing I did was make that 45 degree rotation and it will do the same thing. So I'm going to press Control D again and one more time. So as soon as I created that first copy and rotated it, the ticker cat remembered that that's how I was duplicating and when I press Control D again, it automatically made the copy and rotated it at 45 degrees for me um, and I have this perfect little snowflake now. I'm going to go ahead and get everything grouped together And we are almost done. That's how quick it went once we had our first branch created. Let's go ahead and add some embellishments. Let's cut out um, a little circle in the middle, or actually, let's cut out a little hexagonal prism in the middle. So let's drag one of those onto the screen, put it about in the middle. I'm going to hold down Shift while I resize this to get it to be a bit smaller. That's about right. I'm going to go ahead and Shift Select uh, so I have them both selected, and we're going to go ahead and align them to make sure that everything is centered just how I want it. So we'll center it here, and center it there. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that anytime I'm using a shape to cut out another shape, I can just go ahead and make it really long. I need to make sure it at least comes all the way through the original shape, um, and then I can turn it into a hole. I'm going to reselect the whole snowflake and group them together. There's that center hole. And for me, I like to put a little ring um, outside here. Um, you could also make another hexagonal prism outline like this, but let's go ahead and make a ring. I'm going to go ahead and choose a torus shape. Let's go ahead and make it larger. You know what? That's too thick. Let's do the, th the thin torus. That's better. We're going to hold down Shift, 
get this to be about the right size, try and position it. That looks about right, but of course I'm going to select the snowflake and I'm going to align it to make absolutely sure everything is exactly where it should be. Very good. Let's take a look at it. I think maybe I will just lower it a little bit so it matches the snowflake better. We'll go ahead and we'll group that with the rest of the snowflake. Let's go ahead and finish it off by adding a place to attach a string. So this time I'm going to use a torus. I'll line it up over there. Let's get a better view. That's actually pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and select the snowflake and I'm going to align this really just along this one axis so it's so it's centered along that way. If I were to come over here it would bring that to the middle which is not something that I want to happen. Come down here I think that it's it's lined up pretty well. That should work nicely. And that's pretty much it. You can see how using uh, some smart uh, duplicating uh, makes this pretty simple process.